evening everyone. We are very much on the build up to Christmas. Today's the 13th, meaning it's what, like two weeks away from Christmas. If you haven't already seen my girl gift guide video that I did, definitely go and watch that after this one, obviously. But today I'm doing a gift guide for the boys. For your boyfriend, for your friend, for your brother, for your granddad, for your dad, for your uncle, whoever, your secret Santa at work, whoever it may be. I have got over a hundred different things that I'm gonna be mentioning today. We're gonna to cover loads of different categories. We're gonna do tech, home, hobbies, sports, homeware, I've said that already. Anyway, basically what I'm saying is this is your one-stop shop to find all of your gift ideas for the boy, man in your life. So let's jump straight in. Hey, what up? Okay, so first category we're gonna go through is the self-care, the beauty bits, the sort of whatever, you know what I mean. First thing, a nail clipper set. Almost every man that I know, like they don't go to the nail salon like us girlies do. So a nice nail clipper set is definitely a must. Next is aftershave. This one you can range from, you know, if you wanna get like a cheaper one, Zara do some really, really nice ones for like 20 pounds. They're really, really good. And they last for ages as well. Or you can sort of travel up to the more, you know, like designer fragrances. If you know what the man likes to wear, Always get like a nice refill of that, really good gift, always a good shout. Next, another one is skincare. If they're already into skincare, get them a refill of what they already like. If they don't really do their skincare, there's loads of different companies that do like starter kits, which you can get, I think ASOP do one, which is obviously like more on the expensive side of things. But if you wanna sort of create them their own skincare set, all you really need is like a micellar water or like an in the shower face wash, a toner, simple, do a really nice one and it's really cheap and then a moisturizer, and then like a sun cream. That's like the basics, if you wanna go even further. There's a company that I really like called Your Good Skin. They do a really nice sun cream. They do a really nice exfoliator. You can literally just do it in the shower. It's really, really simple. Another really good mention is the Paula's Choice BHA Exfoliant. That's a really good one. Just any sort of like skincare bits that you think they will benefit from is a really good gift. Another one, this is sort of going back to the aftershave. Sephora do like an aftershave set of loads of different minis. So if it's maybe someone younger or someone that you don't really know what aftershave they like, you can get them loads of different minis and then they can sort of just try them and find out which one they like. Next is hair products. If you know any of the hair products that they like to use, any mousses or gels or you know, pomades or whatever, any hair oils, any specific shampoo and conditioner that they like to use, any particular hair product is another really nice one. Another one is teeth whitening strips. I think this is like a really simple, could potentially be like a, a stocking filler maybe. I think this one's a really nice one. Everyone wants to have nice white teeth and I feel like this is something that potentially men and boys wouldn't buy for themselves. So teeth whitening strips is a bit of a blessed one. Next, another one. Some people might laugh at this, but my boyfriend stands by this. A nice tanning spray, like a facial tanning spray. Everyone, and I stand by this, everyone feels better when they're tanned. Don't argue with me, a nice tanning spray. You can literally get them from like Superdrug's own. A nice body spray, so not necessarily just an aftershave, but like a body spray or a body mist. I like to, when I have a shower, I like to put my deodorant on and then like a body mist before I go to bed. And then it makes me feel a bit more sort of like put together, it makes me feel nicer when I wake up in the morning. Even like a girl's one, my boyfriend likes to use the so. Mykonos Night, he loves that one. It doesn't have to be expensive, just like a nice body mist is gonna be really nice. A, a nice body wash, like a really, you know, nice one that's gonna make them feel good. I know for a fact, so many boys, men in my life just use a five in one shower gel, face wash, shaving cream, shampoo and conditioner, nasty. We wanna come away from that. We're entering 2024, we don't need that anymore. So a nice body wash, like a nice smelling one, a moisturizing one maybe. That's really bliss, love that. Okay, the next category that we're gonna go into is home bits. So even if whoever you're buying for is a homeowner, lives at home, lives with a partner, whatever. These are loads of different things that are gonna be really cute and kind of fresh in their home. So number one is a nice candle, always goes you know, love a bit of a candle. Also incense or an incense holder, they're really fun. 
or a diffuser. You can get some nice cheap diffusers or if you want to go a little bit more spenny, you can find a more expensive diffuser. Really nice ones. If they want, they can put their own aftershave in there or you can get some essential oils, loads of different things that you can do. I think a diffuser is a really nice gift, really nice thought. I got this for my brother last year, a beer dispenser. The one that I got was literally from Amazon. I'll link it. It was, it looks like an old petrol pump and you put the beer in or whatever drink you want and then it comes out the little petrol pump. I think that's really fun, especially if they're like at uni or they like having people round or whatever. I think it's like a really nice, fun, like centerpiece that can be part of the party. Do you know what I mean? I think it's fun. Next thing is whiskey cubes. If whoever you're buying for likes a whiskey or a Jack Daniels or whatever the drink may be. These are like ice cubes you can get. You put them in the freezer and then you put them in your drink and then they don't melt so they don't water down your drink. That's a really nice one. A nice speaker, whether that be like a little mini one or like a nice big sort of like boombox speaker. Again, you can spend as much as you want on these, but a really nice speaker, I think, is always a good gift for the boy man in your life. Everyone likes a bit of music, everyone likes it loud. So a good speaker is definitely gonna be a good gift. Cool wall art, like posters, cool rugs. I know that Stussy do like that really famous like eight ball rug, that's really fun. There's probably loads of different like independent sellers that you can get cool rugs and wall art from. Look on Etsy, look on Not On The High Street, look on Stussy, Carhartt, Route One, loads of places like that do really cool wall art and rugs. So I think that's a really cool idea. Similar to the wall art, like a scratch off film poster if they're a bit of a film buff, a scratch off film poster or alternatively a scratch off map. I got one of those from my dad a few years ago because he travels quite a lot and I think that's a really good idea. A notebook or a planner if they're, you know, busy, they're with, you know, they're doing uni work, they've got an office job or whatever. I just think a notebook and a planner definitely goes a long way. Just writing random stuff down, plans that you've got together, you know, meetings, trips, whatever the case may be. A notebook or a planner just works for absolutely everyone. A reusable coffee mug if they're a bit of a coffee, coffee bloke, coffee boy, I was gonna say coffee girly. If they like their coffee, a reusable coffee mug that they can take out on the go. I know a lot of places like Starbucks and Costa give like extra points if you have like a membership with them, if you use your own reusable coffee cups, so that always works really well. And it's better for the environment as well. A record player, or if they've already got a record player, maybe some vinyls of artists that they like, even if that's like nice vintage ones, which is quite sentimental, or new ones. I know loads of places like Urban Outfitters do vinyls, you know, HMV, loads of places do vinyls and they're not that expensive either. So you can definitely get some good ones there. A nice bottle opener. I got one for my boyfriend. It's like a, it look, it's like an ace of, no, what is it? Ace of spades, like metal card, like a playing card, but it's a bottle opener and he just chucks that in his wallet and he's on his way and he's got a bottle opener whenever he's out. Or you can get like a nice one to have in the home as well. Always helpful, always handy. A good bottle opener, I think it's a good gift. Maybe like a stocking filler, really, really cute. A nice pack of cards, moving on from that. I love a pack of cards. I always buy a new pack of cards whenever I go somewhere new, like the themed ones, but you could get them like a, maybe like a personalized pack of cards or a nice special pack of cards. I think that that is something, again, like a stocking filler and depending on how much you want to spend on it, it can be like a nice sentimental gift. A cookbook, if they like to cook, a little cookbook. They're doing some, if you want to go really cheap, they're doing some in Lidl at the moment, which are like two pounds. Again, you can get some off Amazon. Charity shops, you're always going to find cookbooks in charity shops loads of different places. If you know a particular chef that they like, definitely have a look at that. But a cookbook I think is really cute. And also with the cookbook, any sort of like spices or a spice rack or any sort of cooking oils or like chili oil, garlic oil, any sort of like fun cooking gift sets, I think is really cute. If they are a drinker, they like a drink, they like hosting, they like you know, playing around with new drinks, a cocktail set, like a cocktail shaker and some glasses. And then similar to the cocktail set, I think any sort of glassware, whiskey glasses, champagne flutes, mugs, and then even, you know, still with that, a decanter, like a nice glass bottle that they can have their whiskey or their scotch in, or if they like wine, a decanter, which they can let their air wine in. I think that's a really nice gift. And also just looks nice to just have on the side, a nice decanter. Another home thing I think works for absolutely everyone 
one is a plant. Again, you can decide how much you want to spend on this. You can get a nice little desktop plant. Another one, similar to the rugs that I mentioned earlier, but a nice like throw pillow, like a nice cushion. If you know that they like their home to look nice, this doesn't necessarily apply to everyone, but you can get, you know, like a, a fashion related one. You can get whatever. I just think a nice throw pillow is a really nice idea. It can go on their bed, it can go on their sofa, it can go wherever. I think it's a cute idea. Another one, a bit of a random one, kind of more of like a no novelty gift maybe, is a galaxy lamp. I bought one of these for my boyfriend and he uses it all the time, especially if they're sat in their room quite a lot and they're gaming or they like watching films and they don't have the main light on and they maybe don't have a lamp and they don't just want to have them sat in the pitch dark in the pitch black do you know what i mean a galaxy lamp is really nice they're really relaxing another one if you want to be a bit more spenny is an air fryer i want an air fryer my boyfriend wants an air fryer i feel like my dad would benefit from an air fryer my brother probably would almost every man even person that i can think of in my life i think would benefit from an air fryer also again if they like cooking la crusade sort of like cooking pots or you know dishes whatever if that's something that they enjoy and that's something that's important to them i think la crusade stuff is always a good gift again they are a bit more expensive but it just depends on what you get really but i think that is always a good idea another one a lot of the like younger no, not even younger. A lot of the men in my life I know don't have a mirror, like a good mirror in their room. They always have to go in the bathroom and look in the mirror in the bathroom. And I I don't want that anymore. I don't want that for them. I don't think it's, it's what's needed for them. So a good wall mirror, like one that they can just put on the wall or like a freestanding one, like a tall mirror so they can see their outfit or whatever. I just think a good mirror never goes amiss. Next, this one's a bit random, but again, this is if they like their cooking, but a good knife set, like a good knife block with some good cooking knives. I think that's a really good one. Similar again to the whole cooking thing, a personalized chopping board. I saw this recently on TikTok. They probably do them on, on the high street or Etsy or something. You can get a particular recipe. If it's like your dad or your granddad or someone, you can get a particular recipe etched on a chopping board. It's a really nice sentimental gift that you can get. Again, if you want to go a bit more expensive, a nice coffee machine. This one ranges from cheaper to more expensive. If they like their coffee, but you don't want to spend a whole lot, you could just get a nice coffee pot or a cafetiere. That's always really nice. Or you can sort of move over into the, you know, the ones where you put the pods in or one that brews overnight or whatever the case may be. And then again, get some nice sort of like coffee beans. If you know a particular brand that they like, coffee beans obviously goes with the coffee machine or the pods or whatever. Next, again, this is all very food based, but this is something that my dad lives by, a poached egg maker. A sound bar for the TV if they're again a film buff or if they're like my dad and they have like 15 speakers in their living room for no reason a sound bar i think we have one to be fair but it's behind the tv another one is i'm not gonna say it because mine's gonna react but an amazon they're really really good my dad again like syncs everything up with it so he's able to go into the living room and say cinema and then it turns the tv on it turns the lights off it turns the led lights behind the sofa on and it's like a whole thing. Or you can literally just use it as a radio. You can use it for timers. You can use it to check the weather, the news. I think this one's really cute and it depends on, again, the kind of man, boy in your life, but a nice board game. And I'm not saying like a simple bit of Scrabble, do you know what I mean? I mean like a personalized, nice, heavy, wooden board game, a chess set, personalized Monopoly or whatever i think a board game is something really nice to even just have sat on the table like a nice chess set another one if they're a gamer if they're on their computer a new mouse pad there's just probably absolutely rancid or a new keyboard again depending on how much you want to spend you can get one of those light up ones i don't know shit about gaming so and then lastly for the smokers if there are any a cool lighter like a proper nice like metal flip old-fashioned lighter i think they're really cool you can get them in gray you can get different patterns on them i think that is a really special gift as well and then with that as well like a cool ashtray like a cool a cool ashtray that's it that's all that's all there is to say I think that's a really cool gift as well. Next category, we're flying through them. Next one we're gonna talk about is fashion. 
So I'm gonna go through loads of different things here. First thing, this works for absolutely everyone, a hat, whether that's a baseball cap or a flat cap, if they're, I don't know, a farmer, I don't know. A beanie, whatever the case may be, hats are a go-to always. Jewelry, rings, bracelets, necklaces, earrings if they have their ears pierced, always a good one. Again, I mentioned this in my girls gift guide video, but Monica Vinida, I do have a discount code. I will throw that up on the screen. They do do men's jewelry as well, obviously silver. So you've got sort of a bigger price range of where you can fall on that. So there's some really nice ones there. Some nice trainers, whether that be New Balance trainers or Adidas Sambas or Stan Smiths or like Nike Dunks if you if they're like a sneaker head or whatever. A nice pair of trainers is really cute. They've probably mentioned a pair of trainers that they like, most people do. Cool like t-shirts, like graphic t-shirts, I think are really, really cool. Again, if you wanna go sort of like really cheap places like Primark, do really nice t-shirts. Again, I've mentioned this in my girls video as well, but in Print We Trust, I do have a discount code. They do graphic t-shirts. Route One, you know, Stussy, places like Cortese, Clint's, loads of different places. If they have mentioned a particular brand that they like, get a nice t-shirt from there. Track suits, obviously Skims just recently came out with their men's collection, so there's loads of different things on there. They've got hoodies, they've got just normal jumpers, they've got jogging bottoms, loads of different things. So track suits, again, Stussy is a really good one. Just loads of places like Amazon, you can find really nice track suits. Just something to lounge around in is always good. Next, this one's a really big one. Again, you can decide how much you want to spend on this, but a nice wallet or a card holder or a money clip. If there's someone that, like my stepdad, always has cash instead of like using cards a nice money clip is really good again you can get it engraved or you can get like a fashion related one or whatever the case may be you can get like a car related one a sports related one it's you know completely up to you but a nice wallet and again different price range of where you want to sort of land on that which i think is really nice again i am going to mention jacob and Lordy, but jacob and Lordy is really starting to bring handbags for men into the picture and I don't know why this hasn't been done before because please can we get rid of those ugly crossbody little like you know the ones I'm talking about they're so ugly they're like a square they're horrid I don't want to I don't even want to talk about it like a nice I know that cos do some really nice ones Uniqlo do some really nice ones they're sort of like on the cheaper side or if you want to go a bit more expensive, obviously you've got your designers. I'm pretty sure All Saints probably do bags. Ted Baker, Good Boss, you know. If, if they have a particular brand, again, that they like, a nice little crossbody bag or like a shoulder bag. A man bag, if that's what we want to call it. But I think that bags are for everyone, not just the girls. Similar to this as well, again, I mentioned this in my girls gift guide video, but a tote bag. I think this is, hello, this is the man in my life. Tote bags, you know, if they're at uni or whatever, I just think this is really helpful. Again, bringing it back to Skims, a nice set of pajamas. Everyone knows, this is maybe for boyfriends, but everyone knows that the like gingham or whatever it is, pajama bottoms are top tier sexy. So if you want that for your boyfriend, definitely invest in a good pair of pajama bottoms for them. A nice belt, again, you can take this wherever you want. If you know a particular brand that they like, a nice belt. If they have mentioned one before. Again, this one is potentially a bit of a pricier one, but a nice watch. Sort of cheaper brands are brands like Seiko, or you could, it doesn't even have to be a branded watch, you can get. They do some really cool, unique ones, but just completely depends on what you think will suit the man in your life. So I think a watch is a really good idea. Again, this one's kind of like a random one, but a carabiner. So this is like the clip that they can clip on their jeans and they can have their car keys or they can have their uni lanyard or they can have their work lanyard. A phone case. I don't know any men in my life that don't have an old, crusty, dusty, busty, broken, like dirty, just boring black phone case. I'm bored of that now. Let's move on, okay? A cool phone case. Tank tops, again, skims. You can literally get like a set from Tesco, Amazon, a simple tank top. The amount of, like, my brother wears them under shirts, my boyfriend just wears them around the house. Tank tops are so, so bliss. A good pair of jeans. If whoever you're buying for is maybe a bit older and doesn't really know about fashion or they're trying to get into fashion and they don't really know where they stand, 
Obviously your classics are things like Levi's. Dickies aren't necessarily jeans, but they're like work trousers. They sort of work the same way. Places like Weekday are really good for like basic clothing pieces. And then this is a little tidbit that I got from my boyfriend as well. There is a company called Blacksmith Stores, which apparently is where places like Stussy get all of their like basics from before they print on them. So there's like really, really good quality, like basic t-shirts and jeans and things like that for like really cheap. My boyfriend really likes the Pro Club t-shirts. They're just plain t-shirts. They're really, really good quality and they're like 40 pounds. So just basics are always a good starting point. Again, this is, a, this is a classic for Christmas. We all know and love it. A pair of slippers, a simple pair of slippers. Love it. You know what to do. Another one, and I feel like again, this is something that men don't buy for themselves, but a good pair of sunglasses. If you know what kind of style they like, you could do Ray-Bans. My dad likes a Polaroid. This one's a bit of a weird one as well, but again, my dad loves a scarf, a simple scarf, like a nice, like a skinny scarf, perhaps. My dad likes to wear his long black coat and his scarf, or you could get a cool fashion one. I want the Luevo one so bad, like the big fat scarf. Can you just imagine like a boy wearing like a stone colored trench coat with a nice pair of jeans, a nice pair of trainers and a Luevo scarf? That's art. That is art. Again, similar to the trainers, but going into shoes, things like Birkenstocks, Clark's Wallabies, they're fun. Running shoes, if they're a runner, just shoes are always bliss. Again, I feel like boys don't buy shoes for themselves. I feel like boys don't buy anything for themselves, but a good pair of shoes if you if you know a pair that they want. Buy them, train them. Again, similar to the shoes, but football boots. You know, again, running shoes, gym shoes, whatever. This one is potentially a bit of a boring one, but it depends, maybe a stocking filler, and like pairs of socks, nice socks. Almost all the boys in my life, what I'm mainly just talking about, my brother, my boyfriend, have like old, ratty, disgusting socks that they've had for years. Like a nice pair of novelty socks, or a nice pair of branded socks, whatever. Socks and boxes, again, skims, fun, men's, this. A nice jacket, a vintage jacket, like a varsity jacket, always cute. A nice leather jacket, if that's what floats their boat. Another one, which I think is really cool, and I always see these, you can get like vintage mystery boxes where you pay like a certain amount and you get a certain amount of clothing pieces where you don't even know what you're gonna get. You just tell them what you want and then the size and then they send it. I think that's a really good idea, especially if it's potentially someone that you don't know that well. I think that's a good shout. And again, you can spend as much as you want on that one. Last little bit, gym clothes. And then lastly, if they need glasses, a nice pair of reading glasses, just like a cute, cute pair of reading glasses. Or if they've already got glasses, a nice glasses case. Cute, loves it. Okay, these last three categories, there's not as many things in there, so I'm just gonna fly through them. So this next one is sort of like car bits. So number one thing, car fragrance. So whether that be like a dehumidifier, you can get like Lynx ones, I think, that you just pop in the like cup holder, or you can get like a hanging one, you can get ones where you can put the actual aftershave in it, that's a really good one. Car fragrances, always bliss, everyone's a nice smelling car. A nice key ring, a nice personalized key ring, maybe a key ring with like a, you can get like ones of their car if they've got a nice particular car. Car cleaning stuff, you can get them like an auto glim starter kit or the full set if you really want to spend the money. Or if you want to do spend, if you do want to spend a little bit more money, Halfords, they do like the little mini jet wash things with the like snow foam attachment if they're really into all of that. Next category is tech tech bits, tech bits and bobs and bits and bobs. So a good pair of headphones. I really like the Sony, I don't know what ones they're called, but Sony do really nice ones. A cute little digital camera. Again, I did mention this in my girls gift guide video, but a little digital camera that they can take pictures of their friends or family, or if it's your dad or your granddad, they can take pictures of the kids or business trips or whatever. A digital camera is always fun and fresh for everyone. Or alternatively, like a point and shoot film camera, if that's sort of more what they're into. Another one is a hairdryer. Again, I don't know any of the men in my life that have hair long enough that would need a hairdryer. None of them own one, which is so bizarre. A good hairdryer. And then the last one, again, if you want to be a bit more spenny, an Apple Watch or a Fitbit. The last category, boys and girls, is kind of like random bits, like hobbies, kind of. I don't really know. I didn't really know what other categories to put these things into. 
So I have a gym bag, a nice one. You can get them like a cheaper one or you can get them like a more expensive one. Just a nice gym bag. Again, with the gym bag, a nice water bottle for the gym. Cute. A pen knife, like a Swiss army knife. I think that everyone should own a pen knife. Well, maybe not everyone. Probably not a lot of people, but pen knives are bliss. They've got knives, they've got scissors, they've got nail files, they've got or like a multi, a multi-tool pen, like a multi-use pen. You get pens that are like spirit levels and they've got a screwdriver and whatever. They love it! They absolutely love it, boys and their toys. Bliss. If they're a golf, I'm just gonna say girly. If they're a golf girly, golf tees, golf clubs, golf balls, a tool set. A tool set, a Makita tool set. My brother got a Makita tool set once. What he uses it for, I've got no clue. I don't know if he does use it, but it's nice though. And lastly, this was like a random one that I just threw in at the end, but if they're musically inclined, guitar picks. That's fun. You can get personalized ones. You can get ones with your face on it, honey. Pluck this. Whoa. But you know what I mean? Okay, girly swirlies, thank you so much for watching. That was my definitive boys gift guide for the brothers, the boyfriends, the uncles, the neighbours, the work colleagues, the dads, the granddads, whatever. That is every single thing that you need for the boy or man in your life. Thank you so much for watching. Again, as I mentioned at the beginning, if you haven't watched my girls gift guide video, go and watch that. Even if you're a girly watching this, if you don't know what to ask for, go and watch that. I added a few things in there for you, babe. <laughs> And obviously, like, comment, subscribe. Have a lovely Christmas. I'll see you before that. But love and kisses to you all. Mwah, love you, boys. Love you, man. Love you, girls. Where do you go to? Where do you go? Where do you go?